This is a quick video on how to properly build a load-bearing platform. Welcome to Kyler's studio. Now you've probably seen some boxes built online, but there's a proper way to make it load-bearing. Some bear more load than others. To bear more load, you don't always need just more material or bolts instead of screws. Some of it is technique. Take framing, for example. Now framers will put floor joists running over load-bearing beams and beams standing on top of load-bearing posts posts stand on top of load-bearing foundations. The reason people don't do this in wood boxes is because one, they don't understand how load works, or they don't really care about how much load it can handle. If it breaks, it's not a big deal. I'm going to take a look at some of the top YouTube results for how to build a box or a wood shelf. Some of these designs work better than others, some bear more load than others. So my critiques are to get more load-bearing out of the same amount of materials. Now let's first take a look at John Peter's design. It looks like he has a 4x4 coming up to meet a 2x8. And for what he's building, it probably works fine. But you notice that he's using only two screws, maybe four screws, screwing the 4x4 into the 2x8 or 2x10, whatever it is. Now, these are heavy-duty materials. That 4x4 will take a lot of vertical weight. That's what it's designed for. And a long stretch, you can go a long throw with those 2x8s or 2x10s. Now, the big flaw in this design is that the 4x4 is connected only with screws to the 2x. So the only load bearing you get out of this is the friction you have between the 4x and the 2x. Imagine if those screws sheared or came apart the whole thing would fall apart. Again, not a big deal if you don't have a large load. So when I tape medium load bearing on this, I'm simply saying there is a better design. Okay, next we're gonna take a look at this build from Modern Builds. Now you see that he runs the two by right up next, butted up against where the plywood would go on top. So it does help when you screw the two by into the two by and then the plywood into the two by. But your load is only held up by the screws and the friction between the two two bys. Okay, this last one is my favorite by Master Build Handyman. Okay, where do I start? He's building a stage platform. It's small, but it needs to bear the weight of people. I think four by fours are the right thing to use for this. I think four is fine. It's sufficient, but he's only using screws into the two by. Now his saving grace is that he used, it looks like two by sixes as the platform top instead of a plywood, which gives it the strength that it needs, but it's a little bit excessive. This will be a really heavy piece to move, but it's solid. Now the big problem is where the four bys connect to the whole platform. So the two by four frame that he built around the whole outside is supposed to help support the weight of the whole platform. But instead of putting the 4x4s underneath the frame that he used to hold up the whole platform, he just screws them into the side of the frame, which means he's limited by the shear factor of the screws. So one good thing he did was he added 2x4s in the middle, and he secured them with 2x4 joist hangers. The problem is he installed the joist hangers upside down. So he's building this upside down. If he flipped it over, those two bys would just fall out unless they were screwed in. So those brackets do nothing for him. I think I read in the comments that he corrected it. So no harm, no foul. So it's load bearing enough, but there's a better way it could be. He could have used plywood on top and saved himself a little bit of money there because this thing is probably really heavy. Okay, we're going to go back to another design of John Peters, assuming he designed this. He's building a scaffolding out of wood. So he has vertical 2x4s and spanning 2x4s. Now, despite the fact that the supporting 2x4s are only screwed into the other vertical 2x4, this is a better design. And that's because the box that he built is actually being supported fully by the 2x4 frame. Okay, so why do I say all of this? It's so I can justify the extra effort that I put into this build because it took extra time. So I built this platform mainly out of scraps. I wanted this to hold some weight and I had some leftover 2x4 and 2x6. Now I could have put just one 2x4 that comes up and meets my plywood on top and then just screw it into my 2x6. But let me show you why that's an inferior design. So in this design, with the vertical 2x4 screwed to each other, I essentially get the strength of a 4x4 with the exception of the gap between the top vertical 2x4 and the plywood, and in a gap between the concrete lip. So the entire frame of the box is entirely supported by the vertical strength of the 2x4s, and not reliant on the shear strength of the screws. So if my screws failed, this thing wouldn't go anywhere. Now what I mean by shear strength is how much perpendicular force would be required to break a bolt or a screw. In those other examples, that's where most of the strength comes from, is the shear and the friction. But not in this design. Okay, I use the term design very loosely here, because I was kind of designing as I was going. So, is that design? As a verb, I don't know. design is usually defined as 
to prepare the preliminary sketch or the plans for. Oh, stop. So here the smaller 2x4 in the vertical position is holding up the 2x6. The other 2x4 is holding the other horizontal 2x4. And you'll notice I screwed that 2x4 into the stud of the wall. So I have vertical 2x4s holding up a 2x4 and a 2x6 frame. And then I use these construction screws to make sure that all the 2x's fit together very tightly. Again, the friction is what really holds this thing together, not necessarily just the screws. The screws just act like clamps to hold it together. And these star bit construction screws are really what you want to be using, especially for thick wood. And these screws don't slide out of the bit like those cheap Phillips heads that usually end up stripping because you're trying to jam it in the wood. So I was sure to use all the screws to make sure that the bases and the tops of these two bys are fit very tightly together. So this build was just to fit a mid-size fridge freezer up off the ground so that we could open the door of the stairs and have it as close to the house as possible. You'll notice I'm using the concrete platform to get it as close to the wall as possible. And then I just used leftover three-quarter ply on the top to kind of distribute the weight around the frame. Now, another thing I could have done is add another 2x4 in the middle as extra support. I don't think I need it. Even if I filled this thing full of lead, that thing would still hold. So did it take extra time? Only to measure a few more pieces to cut. Had I done this all out of 2x4, fewer cuts. And if I had 4x4, even fewer cuts. So the moral of the story is... Don't rely on the screw's shear strength to hold your entire platform up. If you can use joist hangers, also known as Simpson Strong Ties, that works great. Most of all, you want to make sure that your cross beams are heavily supported by vertical beams. If you lost a few screws, will the thing still be supported? Now, if I was buying new material, I would have used a weather-treated 4x4 and notched it out so all the moisture doesn't seep up through the floor. Now the 2x6s are probably a little overkill. Only 2x4s around the entire upside structure would have worked fine. Three 2x4s on that upper piece would have been ultra solid. Anyway, hope you learned something, picked up on something. Subscribe, see ya!